All right, how about this weather? It has taken a break from winter. Warmest January on record. We had another round of record-breaking temperatures today alone. Yes, we did, and CBS 2's John Elliott hit the links to find people who traded in snow shovels for seven irons. You really can't beat this. I think it's spring already. Love playing in February. It was great. February 10th, playing golf. Never did that before. We had no idea this was going to happen. Um, it was a big surprise. We're really happy. This is absolutely the earliest we've ever been able to open. This early opening was so impromptu, Jeff didn't even have any time to stack the shelves in the clubhouse with inventory. How'd you do? Uh, I got my first birdie on the second hole. Whoa! Fantastic. Yeah, this is definitely one of my best games I've ever played. It's been so mild that we're actually starting to see grass growing. For Jeff, there's really no downside to no snow. It's all about liquid equivalencies. In fact, all of the heavy rain that we've seen during the winter has helped him recover from last summer's drought, and it's helped him fill up the water hazards, too. Low to no snow has also been good for the bottom line of the borough of Lincoln Park, with 11,000 residents and 36 miles of roadway to keep clear. Now, in a typical winter, they would fill the big salt shed four times. This year, they've filled it once, and they've barely touched it. Last year, we spent about $54,000 on salt. So far this year, we've spent about $4,000. Not everybody's thrilled, though, about our spring preview weather. If you're in the snow plowing business, this winter has been devastating for snow plowing guys. You've made no money? Zero. Like it or not, above normal temperatures are expected to continue. In Lincoln Park, New Jersey, where I'm smelling the salt and soaking up the sun, I'm John Elliott, CBS 2 News. Two-sided coin, right? It is. Mm -hmm. You know. I mean, obviously getting that vitamin D, but I'm just thinking long-term what this means, right? What does it mean? Because I, I hear Lonnie, you know, whispering in my ear. Yeah. What's he saying? <laughs> He's saying long-term. Long-term. What's it mean? What's it all? Okay. <laughs> when you look at the water table, and, and John's right, there's a water equivalent. A certain amount of rain equals certain amount of snow. Okay. However, when you get big rain, you get some runoff, right? It doesn't all go into the earth. When you get snow, most of it eventually translates into your water table. You don't get as much runoff, so. That's something that we may be hoping for by the time we get into our springtime season. But we'll wait and see here, guys.